miss the top. Hey guys, today we're doing another Sony Vegas tutorial, or if you have 14, a Magix Vegas tutorial, on how to do the To Be Continued meme. It's very easy and very simple, now let's get right into it. First, get the To Be Continued image. A download will be in the description for you so you don't have to look it up. Then we're going to get the song, as well as the image, there will be a download link in the description for you. First off, we're going to drag in our video into the timeline. If this window comes up, we're going to press yes. It's not the best quality, but we'll work with it. First, once it's in the timeline, we're going to stop it where we're going to do the 2B continued meme. You missed the top. Oh. Okay, we're going to find the frame where we like it the most. So about, about there. That looks pretty good. Once we find the frame, we're going to simply put our preview to best full. Now, we're going to take a screenshot with this save snapshot to file icon. Then just name it anything. I'll just name it tutorial. Now, it should automatically put it in the project media window for you. Okay, so don't go anywhere else. Find that same frame, right click and press split. Now delete the rest of the video and drag in your image. Now you can change back your preview to anything you want. I'll just put it back on auto. Okay, so now we have this. The top. It just stops there. Now we're going to add the to be continued image onto the top of it. So we don't just want the to be continued image in the middle of the screen. We're going to right click it and press video event pan slash crop. This window will appear. We're going to right click in this big F selection, right click it and press match output aspect. Then we're going to drag it out as far as we want this scaled and we're going to put it just in any corner we want. And put it right there. Okay, so now we're gonna do a bit of color correcting. I already have a preset made, so you can download it in the description, it's very helpful, and I'll show you how to put presets in in my next tutorial. Okay, here is the preset, just drag it onto the image, and as you see, it adds that tint look. Okay, so we've done everything, all we need is the song. So drag in your song under your audio, so it creates another audio track. Find the bit in the song where it drops. Right there. So I see the sound wave where it drops, just there, and I'm going to split it where it drops and delete the rest. I'm going to drag it in and put it in line of where it starts the to be continued meme. And I'm going to drag the rest into the left. Now it's a bit too long, we're going to cut it short, so about cut it here, cut the music and the video, press Control A and just put it all to the start. Now I'm going to cut this part of the music and the video and the image so this is all so short. So all up it goes for 10 seconds. Now we're going to play it and see how we did. Miss the top. Yep. I like it. Okay so once you're done with the video all you have to do is select it all and then press render as and then find Sony AVC slash MVC and open the arrow and press internet 1080 times 720 30p. And then press browse. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to save it as tutorial. And then you press render. Make sure the render loop region only is ticked because we only want this region here to render. Once that's done, press render. Okay, once it's done rendering, press open, and your video should be done. You missed the top. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. It's been a while since I've worked with Vegas tutorials on this channel, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment on if you want anything else done. I will do it straight away and post it on Monday as my schedule. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.